the, the other folks there. Because of the, partly because of the materials involved, the paper was made from 100% cloth, and uh, so it would be a mixture of linen with a little cotton. That was a typical recipe for the, the paper itself. It was made by hand. And then there's all the work that goes into printing. Uh, the printing press was relatively rare in the colonies. They were expensive to acquire. It was a risky business. They had to buy all the, the metal type. The press and the type all had to be imported from, uh, in their day, in the American colonies. It all came from London. The type was made in London. The presses were. And uh, so just starting up a business was expensive. Franklin, of course, first becomes famous because of his uh, printing and publishing industry. He's uh, the most successful of his time. Now, uh, I'm doing something that had to be done every single time that the print was made. If someone would apply the ink. They call that beading because you're beating the ink onto the tie. And the person who does it was called the beater. So there was two, two jobs at the press usually done by two different people, the beater, and then the puller would be the one doing this part here. Because you pull the bar to press it. Yeah. Now, all this can be done in as little as 15 seconds. Now, that's not unusual. It takes a lot more time to set up the type. Oh, wow. But, uh, <laughs> Once the type is set, you can print as many of these as you want, right? Yeah. And that's, and that's there is, cloth? Yeah, yeah. The, now, the one, the kind of paper that I'm using right here is cotton. There's, there's no linen in it. Because so, mm -hmm. if we have linen, it's more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so does that fade, I guess? No, no. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a good thing that the ink, the coloring in the ink is, is lamp black. So carbon, not going to change. Huh. Not, not for thousands of years. So. Uh, a lot of things that were printed back in the 1700s, if they're using this combination of things, which they usually are, they last really well as long as they're not, you know, left outside or damaged. You know, it's like you keep up something printed, that keep it indoors. Uh, if it's in a book, the cover might have problems after a while. If it's a leather binding and that kind of thing, but the paper's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a little damp on the side. As long as you're not touching the ink, it'll be okay, because the ink can still smear. Uh, after about an hour or so, the ink should be set. That's the advantage of using the damp paper. The ink gets in there, and when everything dries, it's like a dyed piece of cloth. You can see how you know floppy it is. Yeah. <laughs>